Hi everyone, I'm Stella Moon. I'm the Arts and Education Coordinator at Uncle Valley Arts, and I'm gonna be showing you how to make the four different projects in the Winter Art Kit. So let's take a look at what's inside first. All right, so first thing in this art kit is some info about membership and how to become a UVA member. And then we have this sheet, which tells you everything that's inside this art kit. These two pieces of paper are regular A4 printer paper. And then we have our coarse salt, baking soda, an empty clear container, two paper cups, two vinegar packets, a set of 12 oil pastels, and then we have this baggie which is filled with paper rectangles, two googly eyes, a red pom-pom, gold ribbon, and two pipe cleaners. And then we have an Elmer's glue pen, a pipette, a flat paintbrush, and a set of watercolors. And then we have a sheet of transparency, which has double-sided tape on all four sides. And then we have three sheets of paper down here, flat construction paper and two sheets of watercolor paper. And if you feel this paper, it's going to be a lot thicker than the other printer paper that I showed you earlier. So make sure you don't get them confused. The watercolor paper is a lot thicker. So let's get started with lesson one. So this first lesson is fizzy baking soda painting. And you will need one sheet of the thicker watercolor paper one sheet of regular A4 printer paper, your watercolor set, baking soda. You'll also need the empty plastic container. You will need your two vinegar packets, um, two paper cups, pipette, flat paintbrush, and the glue pen. For this project, we're gonna mix the baking soda into our watercolor paints. So to start, I'm going to just mix a bunch of water into the paints. Put a bunch of water. And just start mixing into the paints. And then I'm gonna use this area right here as a palette. So I'm just gonna grab a bunch of the red paint. Okay, and then I'm gonna open my baking soda. Very carefully, I'm just gonna pour a little bit into my paint. That should be good. And I'm gonna mix that in. It's gonna turn into kind of like a powder. I'm gonna add some more water. So it turns into this really nice thick mixture that you can paint with. And this might be tedious because um, we're gonna have to do this with every color that we use. So if you just wanna make a whole bunch at once, um, you can grab a separate container if you have one at home and um, just pre-mix a bunch, a bunch of this in a separate container. I'm gonna add more of the red. Okay. 
Okay, and a little bit more baking soda. This might pour out, so be very gentle with the container. Okay. more water. So there we go. Now we have a pretty good amount of this sort of paste of baking soda and watercolor. Uh, I just started out with red because that was just the first color I saw. You can do this with any, any color you want to use. We're just basically going to fill our paper with a bunch of colors and just sort of play around with color a little bit. Or if you want, you can paint a picture. You can paint whatever you want. I'm just gonna do some random colors. So with this red, I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna start off on this side and just, just paint a bunch of random, random shapes. So I'm gonna add some more water. It's gonna feel very gritty, and that's that's just because the powder is mixed in. Okay, and then I'm going to add, I'm going to add some purple into this red mixture to make it a little darker. I think I want it to look more purple than red. So add some more purple. That. Okay, I like that color. I'm gonna add a little bit more baking soda. A little bit more. Ooh. I'm gonna add more water. Baking soda almost acts like a white paint and it makes the purple look really creamy. Oh yes, that's that's super pretty. Okay, add a little more water. Okay, I'm gonna add some purple here. I want to make the red sort of fade into this purple. I'm just playing around with color. Um, you can paint whatever you want on here. And you don't have to fill up your whole paper with paint. Um, I just want to, but you can paint whatever you want. I'm really liking these brush strokes. I think I'll make some cool, cool brush strokes. There we go. Like that. Okay. And then. I think maybe I'll add more purple and make it darker. I'll add some blue. Oh, 
Ooh, that's awesome. Some more baking soda. When it, when it looks too watery like this, just add a little bit more baking soda. That's a pretty color. Add the water. Okay, and then I think I'm going to leave this purple here. I'm going to rinse off my brush, and I'm going to start making a new color. I think I'll go for green. So I'm just going to add a bunch of water in this green, get the color going, and I'll put it right here. Okay, I'll add a little bit of baking soda. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, that means we need more water. There we go. Okay, I'm going to add some more green and I think I'm going to add some yellow to this green to make it a little lighter. I keep rinsing my brush so I don't turn this yellow too green. There we go. Okay, I think I like that color. I'm going to put that right here. Add some more baking soda, some more color, I'll make it a little darker now. There we go. And then I'll sort of fade into this purple right here.
Okay. And then I might go back to red. I'm going to add some more red to this purple. It's a pretty magenta color. Put it down here. a little here. Try not to draw too much on my table. But watercolor wipes away with just water pretty easily. So okay. And then maybe I'll add some blue and make make a new color right here. I'll add some baking soda and then water. Okay, I'm going to put that right here, I think, yeah. And then I want to add some yellow right here. So I'm gonna clean off my brush. I'm gonna mix some yellow. Add some baking soda. And then I think I'll go back to my blue right here. I'm going to add some purple to it. I'm going to paint up here.
okay and then go back into my purple I'm gonna add some more purple into it And then I think I want to try to put some orange right here. Try some orange. That's baking soda. Oh no, <laughs> so much baking soda. All right, here we go, lots of water. All right, I'm just gonna start using this much at a time. Okay, then I want to add some kind of random funky shapes all around my painting. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back into my blue. some baking soda yeah. and then add a little squiggle right there I'm going to put another one right here. I'll make it like that this time. Okay. And then Maybe I'll put another one over here. Cool. And then I'm going to add some red to that blue to turn it into a purple. Okay. 
Okay, add some baking soda. Okay, and I'm gonna add a squiggle right here. I think I'll add some of this purple. I'm gonna put a dot right here. Okay. And then I'm gonna work with this black. Add some baking soda. And I'll put another dot right here. Maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do a little spiral right here. Another one right here. Okay, I think I'm done. Kind of a weird painting. I just wanted to mess around with shapes and colors. Looks kind of fun. Okay, I'm happy with it. So, I'm gonna grab my empty plastic container and now we're gonna put our vinegar into it. And we're gonna open it very carefully so it doesn't spill out everywhere. Just tear the corner. I'm gonna put it in the container. I'm gonna do that with the second packet as well. There we go. And now we're gonna take our pipette. And you're gonna squeeze the pipette a little bit and dip the tip into the vinegar. You're gonna unsqueeze, let go of the pipette. And you're gonna have your vinegar inside. So now we're just going to sprinkle this anywhere or everywhere, wherever you want. I'm going to try to experiment with colors mixing together. So let's try a little bit right here. You can see it start to fizz and bubble.
and the colors start to mix together. And now this is happening because we're mixing vinegar and baking soda. And together they create this reaction and it fizzes and bubbles just like that. And because we're doing this on a painting, it's gonna make our colors mix and blend. And it tilts, kind of pulling a little bit. Make the colors really bleed into each other. Here are the bubbles fizzing. Okay, and you don't have to use up all the vinegar. You can if you want. I think I'm gonna stop right here. And I'm gonna wait for this to dry. You can already see the colors all blending and mixing together. Mine kind of looks really messy, but it's fun to just experiment with colors. I'm just gonna tilt it around to blend it even more. Awesome. So now let your painting dry and once it's dry you can really see the colors mixed together. Awesome. Well thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this project.